The 1980s hair metal bands were a popular guilty pleasure. We've ranked the top 20 hair metal bands of all time, but excluded established hard rock acts who went for easy money. So, who made the cut? Check out our list of the best hair metal bands. Chicago's Enough Snuff, known for their psychedelic glam rock sound, may not have achieved mainstream success like others, but hits like Fly High Michelle and New Thing have kept their music in the spotlight. Check out 20 surprising facts about Dumb and Dumber, too. Wasp was a visually striking band in the 80s hair metal scene, known for their macabre live sets and unique costumes. The band's music was darker than others in the genre, but still popular on MTV. Today, they continue to perform in bars, festivals, and local parks. Follow MSN for exclusive entertainment content. Mark Slaughter, the singer and guitarist, had his success before forming his band, Slaughter, which arrived at the end of the hair metal scene and was one of the last successful bands in the genre. With the distinctive voice of Slaughter, the band became popular with their album Stick It To Ya, featuring hits like Up All Night and Fly To The Angels. The band Striper broke barriers in the metal scene with their Christian values and yellow and black outfits. Despite being the subject of jokes, they had a hit with Honestly in 1987. Follow MSN for more entertainment content. Philly bred rock band, Britney Fox, made a splash in the 1980s with their high hair and rock-oriented sound. Their self-titled 1988 album produced hits like Long Way to Love and Girl School, but the band's relevance was short-lived. LA Guns, the band co-founded by Tracy I. Guns, was put on hold as he joined Guns and Roses with Axl Rose and Izzy Stradlin. LA Guns had success in the 1980s and continued playing shows in various formations. Cocked and Loaded, 1989, was their most commercially successful album. Follow MSN for more entertainment content. Kix, a Maryland band, gained popularity in the 1980s with their album, Blow My Fuse, and hits like, Cold Blood, and, Don't Close Your Eyes. Their rock influence seemed to stem from early Aerosmith. Hashtag music news hashtag rock band hashtag 80s music. In the world of hair metal, Dawkins should have been bigger than it was, thanks to talented musicians like George Lynch and Jeff Pilson. Although frontman Don Dawkins still performs hits like, Alone Again, guitarist Lynch doesn't consider the band to be full-blown hair slash glam metal. Follow MSN for more entertainment news. Faster Pussycat, a band from the hair metal movement, was known for its unabashed songs about sex, debauchery, and good times. However, the band's sophomore effort, Wake Me When It's Over, 1989, showcased a more mature side musically. The album featured the commercially successful hit ballad, House of Pain. Finnish band Hanoi Rocks, popular in Europe and Japan, influenced bands like Guns and Roses and Poison. In the US, they had modest success with covers including, Up Around the Bend. Sadly, drummer Razzle's death in 1984 car accident caused by Motley Crue's Vince Neil ended band's potential rise. A 80s hair metal band, Vinnie Vincent Invasion, was formed by former KISS guitarist Vinnie Vincent with Mark Slaughter on vocals for their second album, All Systems Go. The album gained mainstream attention and featured hit tracks such as, Love Kills, and, That Time of Year. VVI released only two albums and is considered an underrated band. Check out more underrated albums from legendary bands. Skid Row was a hair metal band that made a name for themselves with their 1989 self-titled debut album featuring hits, Youth Gone Wild, 18 and Life, and I Remember You. Despite being talented musicians with Sebastian Bach's impressive vocals, the genre was dying and the band never recovered after their 1991 follow-up album, Slave to the Grind. In music news, Rat, a hair metal band, was a giant in the scene with their breakout debut album Out of the Cellar in 1984. Their hit song, Round and Round, became one of the most popular and recognizable songs of the era. Although lead guitarist Warren Demartini was talented, frontman Stephen Piercy's good looks and sense of pop metal fashion drew most attention. Rat was definitely one of the bands that defined this era in music. 
Quiet Riot, without late guitarist Randy Rhodes, was credited with putting hair slash glam metal on the mainstream map after 1983's Metal Health became the first metal album to reach number one on the Billboard chart. The Slade cover, Come On Feel The Noise, was a hit but the title track was also original and of quality. Follow MSN for more entertainment news. Warrant, a band that capitalized on MTV's love for hair metal, was almost like the boy band of the movement. They wore matching outfits with their names on the sleeve, had choreographed moves, and focused on the video over the song. Their biggest hit, Cherry Pie, was made for MTV. Despite this, the band knew how to follow a formula, and retro fans still enjoy their music. Philadelphia band Cinderella got its break thanks to John Bon Jovi and released three successful albums in the late 80s, Night Songs, Long Cold Winter, and Heartbreak Station. Despite their hair rock appearance, their music had more substance, with Tom Kiefer's gritty vocals and bluesy guitar work. Check out more entertainment news on MSN. Motley Crue, the hair-slash-glam metal band, reinvented their look with each album, from leather-clad to Satan worshippers, hair rockers, and bikers. They were all about conceptualism and stage presence, becoming one of the biggest bands in the world. D. Snyder claims Twisted Sister is not a hair metal band, but they fit the bill. They used the hair-slash-glam rock trend to gain success with Stay Hungry. They also had fun with their music, as seen in their hit, We're Not Gonna Take It. More on our MSN Entertainment page. Bon Jovi is a band that belongs in the hair metal category with teased hair and long stage coats. Their combination of arena rock and pop metal made them perfect for MTV and captured a mainstream audience. Their success with hits like, Livin', On a Prayer, made them one of the biggest acts in the world. They remain relevant and were even inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Poison is the quintessential hair metal band, living the lifestyle with teased hair, makeup, clothes, and good times on stage and off. Bassist Bobby Dahl said he wanted to be a rock and roll star, and that's what he became. Fans can still see Poison on the road today, having nothing but a good time. See more on MSN.